and tell you about the candles that I'm using in this video. I know I'm a little red, I'm a little, I just did another video, got kind of emotional. Um, so what I'm about to show you, you is um, a crystal grid that I'm currently making. But the reason I'm popping in here is because the candles that I'm using for this crystal grid was actually sent to me. Now, I have purchased, I've done a video on these candles before. And I love these, these shine candles. I absolutely love them. And after the last time they sent me some, they sent me a box. And then they did a giveaway. Gave away some to my, my subscribers. I ended up buying three more, no, four more boxes in time from them because that's how much I love them. I, I bought them and I gifted them out because they're really good. Um, they approached me and asked me if I wanted to do it again and I'm like, yeah, because like I just bought another box to stock myself up, you know, so because I'm about to get um, the pendulum classes going and I'm, I'm putting stuff together. So they were like, let me send you a couple of boxes and then we'll do a giveaway and give three boxes away to your subscribers and then also offer 20% off to other people who don't win. These candles, one of the main things I like about these candles is that they don't scorch. So you know when you're doing spell work and sometimes the candles that like you get at the Dollar Tree and stuff like that, they will scorch or get, you know, get black when they shouldn't, which will make you hesitate your magic because then you see this and then you're like, oh, okay, well, what is what's going on here? When it was just a bad candle. These don't do that, they're smokeless candles. They burn so clean and all the way down, all the way down. So, and for those of you who have been watching me, y'all know that I've never had, except them once before, taken any promotional stuff from anybody. Like I get approached on the weekly basis from companies wanting me to like promote their products I'm not gonna do it because if I don't like it I'm not gonna share it you know what I mean it's just not gonna happen and but they're candles I love so I'm sharing with that being said uh, I'm gonna show you how to make the crystal grid and I am using some of these candles with it and at the end of the video you can go down and look in the description box and there's gonna be a link to take you to the giveaway now the giveaway they're going to um, give away three boxes of these candles to three of my subscribers three boxes of 104 times y'all and they're all the colors you get all the colors which is fantastic so watch the video click the link it'll tell you how to go enter the giveaway and also if you want to just go purchase some they're regular $26.99 if I'm not mistaken you can check the link out and go to their shop but they're giving you a 20% discount with the code uh, I'm not getting paid anything for that code like I'm not getting paid anything for that it's just a code they're offering 20% off to the people who are watching the video and entering the giveaway so don't think it's anything like that like they they sent me free candles. Yes, I did get this box of candles free, but I also show you the candles that I, I had purchased before they contacted me. Because again, I like the candles, so I buy their candles because they they burn very clean. It's, they're nice. They're just really nice candles. And for the price of how many and how many candles I get, it's really it's a good deal considering walking into a witch shop or something and buying like just a couple of candles a few times. But and, oh, I need gas. Okay, so. Yeah, stay tuned and watch the video of my crystal grid. And if you would like to enter the giveaway, because again, it ain't gonna hurt you to enter the giveaway, because three of you guys are three, okay? Like, I do a giveaway and it's one person. But they're giving away three boxes of candles to three of my subscribers who enter the giveaway. And you get a 20% off coupon down there. It's, it's I think it's uh, LGD, Lady Grave Dancer LGD. 20 is the code, but it's going to be down in the description box so if you want to purchase your own candles, then do so. I'm hoping. <laughs> we haven't discussed it, but I don't make chime candles. I make other candles. They're on my shop, but I'm hoping that we can come up with something where I can actually sell their candles on my shop so other people can get some, but I don't want to sell them in the big box that they come in, so it's something that I would have to figure out with them where if somebody wanted to... Um, purchase the money order and oil and wanted like two or three or four green chime candles you know I want to do something like that on my shop if it's something that they allow if it's not something I can work 
work out with them, then I'm going to see if it's okay. Because I have to get permission because I'm buying it from them. If I could break up the boxes and maybe start adding chime candles myself. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I like the candles. And that's, that's just what it comes down to. I really like the candles. So, with that being said, here is my crystal grid, y'all. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. Like, it's not going to hurt you to enter the giveaway. Just go down there, enter it in, and possibly get you some chime candles. If you've been watching me, you know these are the only chime candles I've used for years. Like, years. It's the only one. And I believe I sent a box of April to Bex, Trina, that I purchased on my own. I think those are the ones I sent it to. And then, of course, I've even out some that I've had because I like them. I like the candles. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Go into the giveaway and watch the crystal grid that I created for the new house. Okay, so I hope you can see this area well. <laughs> so we are going to start by moving some of my things to the side. So this is my... <laughs> rabbit fur as you can see it's not really white anymore because I've had it forever the ones that you get on our website because we sell this rabbit fur well not this one but we sell this size rabbit fur on our web page and they're gorgeous and whenever we first started getting them I was going to replace mine with a black one that I fell in love with and I just I couldn't this one has been with me for so long y'all I mean, let's see this thing. It has been with me since the duplex. So Jesus, my youngest, is 15 now. And I believe, I believe, I believe I acquired this whenever, before he started school. So I just couldn't replace it. And I've used it for so many things. I've used it for multiple crystal grids, which I've showed in previous videos through the years. And I also have used it for altar spaces when I'm doing cleansing on houses. I just, and I use it for altar space whenever I go out of town. You can see the color it used to be. Look at it. Yeah, this old road dog has been with me for a while, but we do sell gorgeous rabbit fur that you can use for altars and uh, um, like crystal grids, what I'm about to do now. So let me start with the crystal grid situation. Okay, so your crystal grid doesn't only have to have crystals on it. A lot of things you'll read and some people you talk to will tell you that it needs to be nothing but crystals because it's a crystal grid okay we can agree to disagree because I've been doing it my own way for ever so I put crystals on there obviously as the main thing but I also add other things to it to serve its purpose because this is a type of spell work it's something that you can set up you can set up that will continuously work it's also something that you can tap into when you're not close to it so if I'm at work and I have a crystal grid up that's up for protection and I'm feeling some kind of wonky feeling, I can tap into my crystal grid from where I'm at. It's essentially like a portal into your home. It's a connection, kind of like if you had a mirror on there. And yes, you can put a mirror on this as well. You can put whatever it is that you want on there. Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot, okay? So I'm going to start by placing it the way that I want it to set, which is like this, okay? Off of my area. I'm going to have this white candle. This white candle, y'all, I have been burning it and burning it for so long. As you can see, I've had it forever. I only light it up a few minutes at a time whenever I'm doing some kind of protection magic or um, any kind of prosperity for the family. It's all family related with this candle and it has been. I've used it for years and I put it out and put it back on and put it out and put it back on and continue to use it. I have multiple candles for this purpose. I have ritual candles that I reuse and reuse and reuse. They just get so much stronger the more that you use them. Yeah. So I'm gonna place it on the outside of the grid just for me to, when I'm actually putting my energy into the grid, I will turn this on. And then when I'm done doing that, I will turn it out, but it will be here next to the grid. Okay, so the sun rises that way and the sun, the sun sets this way. That is my location that I'm focusing on. So this way where you see this candle, sunrise. This way, sunset. And that's how I'm... And you don't have to do things that way. You can just literally let it follow you, like you follow your intention and see what you want to place on it. Oh my God. Let me tell you. <laughs> when the kids were little, 
I would let them put whatever they wanted on our altars, whatever they felt drawn to, to put on anything that we were doing, anything we were working. And that is some of the best magic that you'll find, letting your kids in on stuff like that. Anyway, so okay, next. We're going to rise with some obsidian. Obsidian really, really energizes me. It really, really keeps me full of energy, keeps me focused, keeps me protected. I use it for love magic. Just obsidian is just like a really huge part of my um, practice. And if you notice in some of the videos, this is usually on Hecate's altar. And right now I'm using it in my crystal grid to help me rise in the morning. Now over here where the sun sets, we are going to bring in selenite. Now I was going to use a sphere because I like what the roundness suggests with, when it comes to the selenite, but I'm going to go with this. And the reason that I'm putting selenite in, it's like the end of the day, cleansing away anything that's happened through the day, relaxes you, gets you ready for your evening. Cause selenite is a natural filter of energy and it just leaves you with a positive energy. And that's going here. So before we move on to the more to more crystals, <laughs> I am going to add a bay leaf into the area with the obsidian for safe travels because we all leave for work in the morning. It's definitely something I want to add to the grid because we all we all leave, so we all are traveling in the morning to go to work, coming home as well. So a bay leaf is definitely something that I want to have in this area. So I'm also going to be adding a piece of pyrite. So this pyrite is actually in the shape of a frog, which is so cute. Um, because, you know, I work with frogs when it comes to my money. And my money altar is covered in frogs. And when I found this pyrite that was carved into a frog, I knew it was perfect. So I'm going to be adding this as well. And I'm going to put this toward the area right here facing outward. Of when we're leaving for work keep us successful over here by the selenite I'm gonna be adding this piece of quartz it has a pentacle in it and I just really love this I've had this I can't even think of how long I mean if you're watching the videos you you know you know how long I've had it. it's probably since the duplex a lot of my items I keep forever just forever 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 you never know when you're gonna need it but this one is gonna go over here next to the selenite help with the protection right there okay so we're gonna come in with my silver platter which is tarnished and I love okay can you see it can you see it okay so here we have silver that's tarnished which I love sea salt in the middle all of these are protective items and this right here is cast iron and you know iron keeps all bad spirits away you definitely want to keep iron around. So, and these are candle holders. And I'm about to add some candles to this. So that's going to go in the middle. And this is going to be a crystal grid that I constantly burn chime candles on. It's going to be something I do daily. I'm not going to leave them to burn completely down. I will burn them a little bit every single day just to keep the flow. Just to keep the flow of what I'm doing. Around the silver platter, I am going to place this necklace of hematite. Hematite I use to help pull things in, meaning work, prosperity, protection, everything. To me, hematite is one of the best stones to use to attract. And next I'm going to be adding cinnamon, cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks are huge for protection. They are huge. I have a whole video on cinnamon if you want to go look at it. it it's magical cinnamon uses or something. I can't remember what it's called. I made it so long ago. So I got four pieces because I want to put it into the four corners of this. So I'm going to place it here first and then I'm going to place it here. And then I'm going to go over here to the north and then to the south. And at this point is where you want, you're going to want to see if there's anything else that you want to add before you go into the candles, okay? So before I go into adding the candles to burn it for a few minutes, because that's gonna be the final touch, I'm trying to vibe out and see if there's anything else I wanna add. I feel like I need some more hematite. 
So I'm going to add another piece of hematite. I'm going to add it in here with the candles and with the um, sea salt. I love how that's vibing together. Next, I'm going to be burning three blue candles. And the reason I'm burning three blue candles is because I have three children, three boys, and that is going to represent them for me. And even though we do have more people in the house, the basis of what I do are for my children. Like my life, my everything is for my children. And it, it, even though I'm just putting those three candles here, it doesn't mean the other people in the house are not also protected. The energy is there for everybody. I got this white candle for the whole family. But in this particular situation, I'm going to be burning three blue candles, a representation of my three boys. Okay. And I'm not sure how well you can see, but I have their initials carved into the candle for each of my boys. Okay. Okay. I felt the need to put a little Hecate on the altar. So I grabbed this um, goddess that my son in law made, and it's red. It has red and orange in it, but um, it's more red, and I like it. And it represents um, the color red. For me, red and black is what me and Hecate work together. And he hasn't made me a red and black one yet, but this one has been on her altar. So. Yes, and I feel like I need to just have her in this area. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to light the candles and put some energy into this whole thing. I'm going to start with the white candle over here. I know this is not a very good angle. I do apologize. But I will show you an angle from up high. So I'm going to start with the white one. And then I'm going to come in with my oldest son, my middle son, and then the baby. And I am going to be using these cute little matches. This is the cutest little match book I got on um, Etsy so long ago. And these long matches you can find pretty much anywhere. Amazon, eBay, everywhere. So I turned the light off. Because I'm going to be putting a lot of energy into this. And to me, I love working in the dark. So... This is what my crystal grid looks like. And I have it next to a salt lamp. This is Himalayan salt. And I just really love this, the shape and everything. But I also love the fact that I have a salt lamp next to it. So here we go. So every day I will come home. I usually don't have a lot of time in the morning. Whenever they were younger, I used to do this stuff in the morning. But it's crazy busy in the morning. So every day in the afternoon, I'll come home and I will light these for a few minutes. Put my energy all over it to make sure that this works. And I'll do this for as long as I feel like we need it. Um, until I want to make another crystal grid. This could be up for a month. It could be up for a year. It could be up for two days. It just depends on what I feel. Always go with what you feel is best. When it comes to things like this you can make crystal grids for this one is to keep us protected and to keep our finances good to help you keep your um, house from being sick to your crystal grids are endless you can use them for anything literally anything okay guys so here are the candles that we was talking about so the pack here's the pack it's 104 candles and these are the colors that you get and they come individually wrapped. These are the blue ones that I'm using on my crystal grid. And it comes with these. It comes with black, orange, purple, or lavender, blue, green, pink, yellow, and red, which I just find amazing. Let me show you what they used to look like. So these are ones that I have left from the pack that I previously purchased from them. Because, like I said, they've done this before, and then I end up purchasing some on my own. And this is what I have left, which <laughs> I love these things. They're so easy to anoint, and just, they burn so well, okay? They burn so well. Let me show you. Look at how amazing they're burning. Do you see this? Perfect burn. Do you see that? Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so...
Yeah, guys, if you want to enter that giveaway, if you want to just buy you a box for yourself, there's a 20% discount down below. Again, I'm not getting paid for this. Yes, I got this box free. And yes, three people will be getting a box of this as well. Um, and I believe that they're going to be doing two more giveaways through my channel and probably a few other people too. I don't know who else they're talking to. But again, like I've said, I've had many, many people, like I can show you my email, y'all. Many, many people approach me about me sharing their products. I, I just I just don't get down with that. But when I was sent this a few years back, I really enjoyed it. I purchased again on my own. And I would have continued to purchase even if they hadn't sent me another one because I really do enjoy the product. So, so three of you lucky people will be getting one of these. Just go enter in, click on the link below to enter the giveaway. And then also, if you just want to go buy one yourself, like I said, I'm not being paid for this. These are good candles. So if you want to buy you can go and you can put in, I believe it's LGD20, which is Lady Grave Dancer 20%. And you get 20% off your order, which I think is great. So yeah, go check them out, guys. And if you guys have had crystal grid ideas, let me know. Share in the description below if you're one of those people that don't believe anything else but crystals should be put on something like this. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion and their own experiences, and I don't judge Yeah, you. I would love to know what some of you guys have made these for because there's so many options of things that you can use them for. And they're just gorgeous, and they feel good. I mean, you can feel the energy coming off of this already. Absolutely amazing. Just listen, it's so quiet, so peaceful. Amazing, love it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the next video. And by the way, good luck to the three winners of the giveaway.